In this lesson, we're going to explore the functionality and usage of Azure Monitor. I can think about this vast number of different services that are part of our Azure solution. Remember, we have things like Azure AD. This is our identity store. Well, that has various types of log that get generated. I can think about audit logs. There are sign-in logs. There are various risk logs. There are other types of logs available. Then I have my Azure subscription itself. And remember, that is kind of this unit and container of activities related through that Azure Resource Manager control plane. So things that I'm doing via ARM, well, there's an activity log. Additionally, there's things around service health, which we're gonna talk about in a bit more detail. Then I have the resources themselves. And resources have really two different types of telemetry that are coming out, different types of signals. I can think about various types of metrics, but also there are gonna be different types of logs. Now, I'm gonna put the logs in optional. The reason for this is the metrics by default, if I think about Azure Monitor, Azure Monitor has a built-in kind of time series database. And these metrics go to Azure Monitor. But logs do not, logs do not exist by default. From a monitoring perspective, if I want to capture logs, these Azure AD logs and these subscription logs, they're just natively available for a certain period of time. For the subscription, these are kind of 90 days, they're just available. For the Azure AD, it actually depends on the type of subscription. It might be seven days, it might be 35 if I have kind of a premium, a P1. But the logs don't exist anywhere. I have to actually do something around diagnostic settings. And then there's going to be various types of logs available that I can send to some target. Now there's three types of target that I can send to. I could send it to Azure Storage. That's good for retention, but I can't really do much with it, but it's just I want to keep it for a period of time. I could send it to Event Hub. So Event Hub is a publish subscribe service. And the goal of this is there would be some external solution, for example, a SIM that wants that. So then it would go and take it from there. Or I can send it to a log analytics workspace. This is an Azure component, as the name suggests, it's for logging and analysis. And that can be up to two years of retention. I pay based on the data ingested and um, also the amount of time I keep it for. So I can pick a combination of these things to send those to. I can also send all of these things to a log analytics workspace as well. So optionally, I could send the metrics to those combinations of spaces and I can gather these other things to keep as well. So the point of Azure Monitor is it's that central hub to manage all of these various things that are happening. I can go and look at the metrics, but it also, this Log Analytics workspace is actually now part of Azure Monitor. We call it an Azure Monitor Log Analytics workspace, a log an Azure Monitor workspace. When I have all these pieces of data, the other thing Azure Monitor does is, yes, it lets me look at it. I could absolutely jump over for a second and look at the portal. And if I go down to monitor, I can look at metrics and I would pick, what do you wanna look at? Hey, I can see all my different resources and I could pick the certain metrics I care about. Maybe an easier way to look at this is if I just pick an existing resource, we'll see a metrics blade available there as well. And from that, I can look at the things, the various time-based numeric values of the things I care about. So maybe it's blob, 
I want to look at blob capacity. Hey, I can see that capacity of what I'm using. So this is using that native Azure Monitor capability. So Azure Monitor is fantastic for, hey, I, I want to just look at all those metrics, look at those various things. But then we see Azure Monitor Logs, which is that Log Analytics workspace. And there are many things built on top of that Log Analytics workspace. There are things like insights that give me curated views of things that we probably care about. But one of the things we're going to face is if we kind of look at this idea of the Azure Monitor, we have the diagnostic settings, we can send it to those various places, is I might want to do something. Yes, I want to look at the data, but maybe I don't want to constantly be looking at it. So the other thing Azure Monitor can do is I can actually define alert rules. So in Azure Monitor, I can create alert rules. So alert rules can look at, hey, I can look at all those metrics. I can also look at things like the activity log. I can look at things from a log analytics workspace. And then based on those, if I meet the rule, it can generate an alert. Now those alerts I can see in the portal. I could see it on things like that Azure mobile app we talked about. But then I can also create action rules. I want to do something. So optionally, I could have action rules that get triggered by certain types of alert. That might be to send an SMS message. I might send email. I might call a webhook. I might call a serverless technology. What are those? Hey, I could call an Azure function. I could call a logic app. I could integrate with an ITSM. So now I have all these different types of telemetry coming in. I can create alert rules to generate an alert that I would see that would get highlighted. Then optionally, I could create action rules as well. And we see all of that here in the portal. If I go and look at alerts, the first thing I can see is alert rules. And I've got a number here based on different types of things that I might have. You can see I can create a new alert rule. So based on the resource I select, I'll get different sources of things I might act on. If it was, for example, the subscription itself, you'll see, well, the only available signal type is the activity log itself. But if I was to maybe pick something else, so if I instead looked at virtual machines, and I picked, I don't know, all of them in this case, you know, it's now, hey, there's activity log, but if we go and find a particular VM, so let's jump down, actually, I'm going to select all of that, and let's just pick a VM. There we go. Notice my available signals are still the activity log, because things can still happen to it, but now I could also trigger based on metrics. Maybe its CPU goes above a certain value. So I can create those alert rules. And then what alert rule can do is actually fire off an action group, which is a list of those things I want to do. Or I can separately define those through, once again, my alerts. I have alert processing rules. And those can trigger based on alerts that have been created. And it would call an action group which is those selection of activities I want to perform. We can see, yes, I can do notifications. Hey, I want to email someone or SMS someone. But also I have all these different actions. Hey, hook into an ITSM, call a function, a logic app, a webhook, event hub, automation runbook. So Azure Monitor is that place I can go to get a view of core information about my entire environment across multiple subscriptions. We have metrics there by default, but it will also hook into things like our activity log, um, service health, Azure AD. Optionally, I can get logs from resources via diagnostic settings that can go to different places, but Log Analytics Workspace is a core gathering of any type of log and then analysis on top of that and many solutions like Insights and Azure Sentinel actually will sit on top of that. 
Then if I want to automate things, hey, I can create alert rules, action rules to call those action groups. So those action rules are calling here. These are defined in my action group to perform something. So that's the key goal of what's happening. And that's what we're doing with Azure Monitor.